Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island. Okay, so we've got a big task ahead of us. We're finally free of the law, but there's a lot more to do here. Uh, to singe? What was that? Huh. Something sure shoved a short sword up his aft sail. Uh, I guess we better investigate what that was about. Probably be a good start to, uh... Maybe it'll give us some leads or something. What the? Morgan! Oh no, Morgan! <laughs> Went to get your hand. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Had to pay you back for all the trouble. Found Jacques. He told me. What? He told me. What? What did the monkey tell you? Yeah, that was kind of your fault, Guybrush. I mean, no, don't give her a burial or anything. The singe will pay for this. Yeah, you better. All right, better look around here. Oh. Auto trepanation helmet. Hmm. Ow! What? My thumb. Uh God did God Lepidoptera flotsamus accelerus. Like many of its more common cousins, the sharp toothed flotsam island moth has a penchant for noshing on articles of clothing. Hmm. Where flotsamus accelerus differs is in the pain of its bites, which can be quite annoying, and the rapidity of its meals. A swarm of flotsam moths can strip a man down to his undergarments in mere seconds, assuming the notoriously finicky moths approve of his wardrobe, of course. Hmm. Interesting. Nampiridae flotsamus sucrosus, the flotsam jungle firefly, are a common sight in flotsam's jungles, which they never leave. Although possessing no natural enemies, the flotsamus sucrosus has a notorious sweet tooth, drawing it inexorably to bodies of sugar water. Oh, that's what I could use the sugar for. It looks like the singe is using my hand to make something called the jus de vie. Hmm. Did the singe murder you too? Exit, picture projector, let's see. So... It's broken. Uh, this must have been broken in the fight between Morgan and the singe. I hope the vole escaped. What? Uh... Okay. Any <sighs> purpose to any of these? Ow! Ah! I'm blind. Ugh. Oh no. Um, help? 
Okay, I don't know if there's any point to any of that. Um, let's see, the jar of dead fireflies, bookshelf. There's nothing in there that can help bring Morgan back. No, probably not. All right, so all I can tell. I try to mix up those chemicals, but I'd probably just end up exploding, and not in the funny way. So I, I definitely need to start by getting some of these maws. I think. Um, let's see. Let's leave for now. It's locked. Yep. Can probably find some of those uh, mods in the jungle. <clears throat> Let's see. Wind control device. Jungle entrance. Let's go to the shack. What in the name of Bluebeard's hair dye? Hey, no pochi. I have called dips. I think I may be lost. Shouldn't there be a creepy voodoo shack right about there? There was. Until they came to arrest that pox spreading voodoo lady. What happened? First came the flames. Poor Senor Nipperkin went up like St. Elmo's fire. Then she emerged from the conflagration, mumbling ancient curses with every regal step. I never forget the baleful stare she fixed me with as she was left away. A look condemning me to a lifetime of suffering, shame, and regret. Okay. And if that wasn't bad enough, I, I haven't found one bit of cool voodoo stuff in the wreckage. Come on! Mm. Mob justice can be so unfair. Well, these look like the moths I need. Let's uh, see if I can attract them with this lamp light that apparently never goes out. Whoa! Uh-oh. Hmm. Looks like these finicky moths won't eat a jacket that's encrusted with bacon grease, fish water, and manatee guts. Lucky me. Cool. So, we need a napkin. Bright and colorful one. I don't really have one, but these moths can be useful in getting one. Hey, Stan, buddy. All right, little fellas, check out these high death duds. Uh, well, that's just great. Aww. The lamp's dead. Hmm. Well, we're attracted to that light, thankfully. Well, at least Stan's sign is keeping the moths from returning to the jungle. Hmm. Stan, three wood. No hard feelings over all those various civil and criminal charges. Water under the bridge. Great. A bridge with a fast-talking shyster slash salesman dangling from it. Mm -hmm. Still trying to make a buck on my recently cleared name? I sold all that junk to that Doro sap. I moved on to the next trial of the century. Flotsam Island versus LeChuck and the Voodoo Lady. Okay. Um. New souvenirs. What kind of souvenirs could you possibly be making out of the Voodoo Lady and LeChuck? Oh, ye of little faith. Feast your eyes on the all-new People vs. LeChuck and the Voodoo Lady collection. Okay. Tell me about What's the that? doll. That's our cursed cutlass of Kaflu LeChuck doll. Press the button for its special transforming glow. Ooh, that sounds useful. What's happening? Uh, it's a little bright. Yeah, we're still working out a few kinks. Hey, now, what's this? A fuzzy flying fan club? Ah! Hey, knock it off, you nutty nibblers! That, ah, that hurts! Sweet, ah, fancy, ah, Moses! Ah, ow, ah, ow, 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 ouch! Well, I would feel bad, but I just don't. Well, that was one heck of an experience, eh, Threepwood? It's a good thing old Stan always keeps a few spare jackets in the back office, or I'd be defending my clients in the all together. Say, that's not a bad idea. Stan S. Stan Man, naked attorney at law. Mm. You've got nothing to hide, and neither does he. 
Um, no time to chat, three foot. I've got business cards to print. But I wanted to ask you about this other doll. Uh. Can I take another look at your voodoo lady and the Chuck Boogaws? Can't keep your eyes off them, huh? I just want to know about this figurine. What's that? It's my entrancing voodoo lady dashboard good luck charm. Oh, disturbing. <laughs> okay, well, on second thought. Mm, on second thought. Say no more. Um, let's see. Are they going to be put on trial yet? Have the Voodoo Lady and LeChuck been put on trial yet? Have they? It's the trial of the century. E, e, e. Wait, I thought I was the trial of the century. E, 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 e. Yesterday's news, Threepwood. Hmm. You prosecuting? Oh, what kind of case are you building against LeChuck and the Voodoo Lady? <sighs> oh, I'm not prosecuting them. I'm defending them. What? Why? Why do I do anything, Threepwood? Money, pieces of eight, filthy lucre. That voodoo lady babe is loaded. Funny thing, though, she only let me take the case if I defend LeChuck, too. Funny like a peg leg. Hmm, that is peculiar. Have you seen my wife? Have I? That crazy sea devil hit me up for one of my patented and perfectly passable porcelain power pirate treasure maps before hightailing it for the jungle. If we're lucky, that thing will keep her going around in circles for weeks. Oh, thanks, Stan. I'm taking this, by the way. Alright, I bet you that's uh, part one here. You know, when I dreamed of becoming a mighty pirate, I never imagined that one day I'd be tying eye-popping napkins around the non-existent necks of mystical sponges. Okay, so let's see. Need something really, really smelly, but... Let's, uh... Hmm. Doo, doo, doo. So, about that uh, jungle beast. Uh, let's see. Fireflies. So, uh. all right, let's go to the jungle. Actually, wait a minute. I've been meaning to ask McGee about that uh, jungle beast. Where is he? Is he still over here? Hey, he is. Hey, Hemlock. Hi there, Double Peg. Um. I hear you may know something about Flotsam's so-called jungle beast. None have seen the jungle beast, but he's the sky. Scariest, foulest, smellingest thing you ever didn't see. Yeah, okay. A dark jungle god that walks the land only by dead of night. Dark jungle god? Aye. T'was said to live within the stomach of the god of death, feasting upon corpses. Until one day, death ate some bad shellfish and upchucked the jungle beast into existence. <sighs> but if you haven't seen it, how do you know it exists? Because it eats. To appease the beast, we've left many a fleshy sacrifice on the jungle altar. By morning, the meat disappears from the altar without a trace. Disappearing meat. Yep, jungle god's the only explanation. Hmm. Okay. See ya. Sounds like I've still got a lot to do here. Uh, let's take a look in the jungle, I guess. Well, what's going on around here? Oh, wow. That's weird. This whole idol is under one of Crimp Digit's unbreakable glass bottles. 
Yeah, how did that happen? Who's been screwing with this too? The Kalian wind control device has been set to suck again. But what's that tubing around its fingers all about? Looks like someone's been messing with the Vakalian wind control device. And by someone, Whoops. I mean the Marquis de Singe. And by the Marquis de Singe, I mean the incredible pain in my fundament. Alright, so at the jungle entrance... Oh, boy. So this is gonna be a whole endeavor from what I'm gathering. Um... Let's see. So... Upper left exit. Oh, hey, Ani. And X marks the. When I get me hands on that plaid coated scallywag, I'm gonna rip off his waving arms and beat him to a briny pulp with him. What are you looking at? This is equal to eternal life. Le spectre de Grand César. <laughs> Doesn't look like Elaine's in any immediate danger. Hopefully she won't commit any unforgivable atrocities before I finish enlarging my pox curing sponge. Which might take a while. What's this? Uh, repeated efforts to lace bait with tracking elements. Beast spore remains indistinguishable from jungle floor. That beast left a path as bright as flotsam jungle fireflies. What's that smell? <laughs> um, okay. So, we're gonna need to get fireflies, I'm sure of that much. Um, uh, do, 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 do. So, from jungle, take upper left and use a severed leg on the altar. Where is the altar? This is the wishing well. Can I not go that way? Weird. The trail didn't go anywhere. Oh, okay. Uh, alright. I don't remember how to get to the altar. Oh, here's the altar. I bet that's the sacrificial altar of the jungle beast that Hemlock was rambling about. Can I leave this leg here? We've replaced our usual fleshy sacrifice with a clever simulacrum. Let's see if the jungle gods notice. Um, okay, so I can do that, but I just can't, I can't track it. So, I need to track the fireflies to a severed leg. Hmm, can I? So I need to track fireflies. Can I attach this to... No. Hmm... Let's see. Sugar and water, huh? Oh, you know what? Duh. The well. Okay. Let's try this. Hey, that attracted the fireflies. fireflies. Nature's little spotlights. Okay, and we'll take this and we'll stick it in the well. Need to be illuminated. No, but it needs to be. Uh. uh wait a minute. I can't. That doesn't need to be illuminated. Huh. Well, I think I've got the wrong idea here. Um. I need a leg, but I guess I might not be able to use that leg. Right. Severed leg on the altar. Um, Alright, let me... So, let's... I, I thought that I need to do it this way, so maybe I don't, but... Oh, right. That's weird. Come on. Alright, let's leave this here, I guess. Okay. 
And then if I go back to the well, the fireflies are still here. But that leg's probably gone now, right? Oh. Now there's butterflies here. Or these moths. These are moths. Okay. Oh, another idol. I wonder who put this idol under glass, and why? Nope, nothing up that way. That's weird. The trail didn't go anywhere. See, I I really think I'm supposed to be able to put that leg in the in the sugar water, but it won't let me. So, I wonder if I'm mixing this up with something else. That's weird. The trail didn't go anywhere. Okay, and then here's another idol. Can't really mess with these right now. Keys, come on. All right, here we go. Yep, that leg is still there. Hmm. What about this hint system am I not reading correctly? You pick up the bag of sugar. Yeah, I did that. Go to the well. Sugar in the water, and put the leg in the sugar water. Which I can't do. I don't have any other leg. I don't know where I would get one from. Those fireflies are so pretty. It almost makes you forget they spend half their lives as maggots. That doesn't need to be illuminated. Yeah, so something's something's up here. All right, let me give me one second. Let me see if I can figure this out. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... Right. Where are, see, where am I going to get a severed leg other than the lamp that I have? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, alright. So, there was something... Something that I totally missed. Let's go back to the entrance. I need to go back to Desinja's place. I should have figured. I didn't question it when I looked at the back room and it just said locked, but I should have tried to unlock the room. What the... What? What happened to Morgan's body? And the body's just gone. Well, that's ominous. Refreshing. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. Oh, no. This is where the Marquis keeps all the severed limbs of the pirates he's operated on. Hmm. Hey, you never know when a sack of severed legs is going to come in handy. Or footy, as the case may be. Sorry. Alright, time to go.
Get on the bridge. Okay, back to the jungle. Okay, to the well. Oh, not that. No, not that one. The fireflies are attracted to the sugar water on the leg. Fascinating. And just a little nauseating. Okay. And down. And we'll leave an actual leg on the altar. I don't know about mythical jungle beasts, but I always prefer my ritual sacrifices to be slathered in sugar water. Okay, so now there's a trail of fireflies. I think they're going this way. Oh, nope, they're not. They're going this way, it looks like. <laughs> At last, <laughs> I've lost that she devil. <laughs> Gotta hurt. Serves him right though. Still, I'd better finish feeding the sponge before Elaine hurts someone I actually care about. Okay, I think they're going this way. And then this way. Nope. What the freak? Okay. Oh, alright. Click on the grass. Oh. The mighty pirate hunter tracks his prey via his distinctive firefly attracting spool. <laughs> That's the legendary jungle beast of Flotsam Island? Here, I'll take this, please. Oh, look at that. The poor hideous flesh-eating plant is a smelly, rotting lion's paw caught in its teeth. Um, thorns. Hold still, little buddy. I'll get that nasty old hunk of meat out for me. Yikes! Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure I need that. Uh, here, I'll tell you what. Make you a deal. Take this. That looks uncomfortable. But at least he's not snapping at me anymore. Take this. Don't worry, you freakish little abomination. Dr. Guybrush will make it all better. Gotcha! you! That is by far the foulest thing I've ever smelled in all my years of pirating. And that's coming from a guy who's just spent a few days inside a giant manatee. Okay, so... Come on, little sponge. Eat the nice, smelly, anti pasta. That's a good sponge. Alright, that's two. Let's see. Oh, excuse me. Uh, let's see. <coughs> oh, sorry, y'all. Allergies have been kicking up today. Uh, let's see. So, from the entrance of the jungle, follow the map all the way to the Red Idol. Ugh. Again, excuse me. Um, I saw the red idol earlier. I was kind of just going wherever I could, though. Um, see if I can find my way back there. So there's the purple one. There's the green one. Uh, right, so, oh, that's not going to go anywhere. That's 
weird. The trail didn't go anywhere. Uh, let me see. Can I... Was it a mistake that I just kind of wound up on top of that I that idol? I don't remember how I did it. <laughs> okay. And it's not this way, right? Nope, here's the yellow idol. I thought I saw the red idol. Maybe I didn't. Nope, that's not going to go anywhere. That's weird. The trail didn't go anywhere. I don't want to figure out this map. There's the purple one again. And down this way is the green, right? Yeah. Okay. Back to the entrance, and what's up this way? Anything? Oh, this takes me here. Okay. Alright, I've clearly got more puzzles to solve. But we're getting there. So, one more episode, I guess, coming up. Thank you everybody for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And don't forget to check me out at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel, streaming whenever I can. And I'll see you next week for another episode. Take care. Bye-bye.